Hello, welcome to another episode of Random Chess Person. Today I'm going to do puzzles. I have reset my puzzle rating on chess.com um, purely for this reason. The, the idea of puzzles is to get me to recognize patterns and tactical whatnots. Like, for example, uh, here, because this is an easy one since I have reset, I know that this is checkmate. Uh, they can block with the rook and the rook, but I can take each one in turn. So, all right. Uh, you get more points if you do it fast, fewer points if you do it slow, and obviously you lose points if you miss one. Um, my understanding is that you're supposed to look for checks, captures, and threats. Here, obviously, I have a check. The queen will take, and then I will take. So it looks like checkmate on the back rank again. OK. Now this one, I have three pawns. I assume I should capture in which case they will capture back then I will go here oh <laughs> I meant to draw an arrow that's funny oh see that was just one move okay now here the queen is not guarded this would be a check but that is guarded by the queen. So should I take the queen first? Uh, is there another check? I do not. I do not see a way any other check. So I believe I'm supposed to take the queen. All right. So either a check, checkmate, or some material advantage it tends to be a piece rather than a pawn. But let us see. Here, if I check, they capture. Then I've I've got the spare rook right here, so I think that ought to do it. All right. Hmm. That looks like a back rank mate with a block, which I will then get rid of or block there. I guess it doesn't really matter. All right. Well, I can check by capturing this and then they can block here, but I believe that's it. This rook cannot get back to block. All right. Okay, now this is early in the game. Early in the game. Uh, the knight is under attack. Moving the knight to here would be checkmate, so I'm going to do that. All right. I've never had this in a real game, but I guess it's important to recognize it. Okay. Do I have checks? I do have a check here. I can capture the queen. Actually, capturing the queen will result in check. So I'm wondering if that would be better. It was. OK. It's not only the forcing move of check here, but the material gain of nine points because the queen was hanging. Not sure how this game arrived at that point, but it did. And it's not checkmate, obviously, at this point. The king can escape, but we can check here or we can check here once the king is in that spot. So, all right, let's see. These two pieces here are obviously coming from my king at some point. But currently, the knight is guarded by both the king and the bishop. Um, 
here, here, I have a check, which I believe to be checkmate after this block. So I'm going to do that. Oh, well, there's an intermediate block, interposition, as some people call it. Um, here, we appear to be, I appear to be down on material. Black has two knights, while I just have the one. Um, however, I have a check. Is that a very, that's not a very forcing move because the king has all kinds of options to get out of check. Uh, let's see, I also have a check here. And again, the king has all sorts of options. Even more this time. Tend, puzzles tend to prefer the checks with fewer escape options, but that was not it. What was the... I like to find out what the point of the puzzle was. And it says I should have gone with this check first. For what reason? For what reason? I can guard it. Or I can recheck again. Let's try that. No. Okay, this is a tough one for me. It's probably obvious to you. But let's see. It, oh. Okay, that was obvious. The first check here forked the rook in the king. So once the king moved out of check, I got the rook. And then, obviously here, it was a fork as well between the king and the knight. Okay. Well, what just happened? Okay. The queen just took my last remaining piece besides this rook, which it is now targeting. However, it has removed itself from being able to guard the back rank. So that's checkmate. Here, uh, now just a heads up, you do get more points if you go more quickly, but I'm more concerned with getting these right or correct as the case may be. Here I can check, the rook will recapture, I can recapture once more with check, and then the king will get out of check but then I will have a rook and a bishop left on the board. And that will be able to go there, I believe. Okay. Oh, that was the end of the puzzle. Sometimes the puzzle will just continue going and you'll have to figure out the next move. When you start a puzzle, you never have any idea how many moves it will be. Sometimes it's just one. Sometimes it's like seven or ten. So, but again, the idea to look for checks, captures, threats, some way to gain a material advantage. Now here, uh, we both have two rooks. We both have a queen. And we each have a bishop and a knight. I appear to be up two pawns. Seven to five. So I already have a slight material advantage. Right here would be a check, which is guarded by the knight. And so that would force the king here. And then I would go there and it would be checkmate. All right. Here. I believe this is just checkmate in one, is it not? I I don't see any way for white to get out of that. Okay. 
that was just checkmate in one. Here. Okay, I was trying to figure out why this queen would have just gone there uh, for no reason. Why didn't it just capture here? Oh, because recapture, but still then we'd be even on material. I don't know, but it moved there. And now I have a check that the queen would recapture. I also have this check. I believe that is going to be what I do because I should be able to pick up the queen for a rook. All right. Okay. Oh, black has two queens. This is unusual and a puzzle. And my king is in a really bad way. However, I have check here that would lose my queen immediately. And obviously, those would lose my queen immediately. However, there is this check protected by the rook, which would force the king back. And then my queen up which would be recaptured, and then I would capture with me, I believe, because neither of these queens guard the correct spot. All right. All right. Here I am down on material severely, a knight and a rook to a rook and a queen. And... They look poised to wipe me out. One thing that I can do is say check. The king's escape square is blocked off. So he would be forced to block with the rook or the queen, but only one at a time, so they wouldn't be protecting each other. And then I would take them out. I believe that's the play here. Okay. And that's checkmate. Well, queen, queen, get captured, and then I also would get a rook. I, I believe that's the answer. We'll find out. All right. Okay, because these rooks were protecting each other until one of them moved, and then rooks don't protect diagonally. So... Let's see. It said I had eight in a row, my new personal record. And I'm at 13 minutes, so my next time I miss one, I will stop this. Uh, looking to kick this bishop out. I could capture and trade, but then I would have a really hard time doing anything to the king. I could check the king now, where it doesn't have anywhere to run, and then I'll get the bishop. I believe that's the answer. Okay, the bishop went there. So the king didn't run, it blocked. I can get this pawn. But that's probably not the answer. Um, I don't want to trade for that. That's That seems... And if I go here... Oh, he can't... It's pinned? Okay. That's got to be the answer. He's checking me. Can't do anything about it. All right. That was the answer, is that the bishop was pinned. Okay. Um, oh, okay, their pawn guards this rook. However, they have left their back rank unguarded with the exception of this square and this square. So. Well, that was snappy. That was my queen. Okay, the puzzle starts with me losing my queen, which was painful, even though it wasn't mine. Now I can recapture. That is a free rook, which he was willing to give up for my queen. But checks are first. And I have a check here, which he can only block one way. And then I will capture and it'll be checkmate. Oh no, he can also block this way. Either way, they can't block at the same time. I'll take them off one by one. 
Okay, 11 in a row. All right, I have a check here. That's what I look for first. And his escape square is guarded by this pawn. But he can block here, which I will capture with my knight. I, I'm just going to say that's it. Okay. Because if I retake with my queen, then I lose my queen. So I'm going to capture with my knight. And then move my knight out of the way. I'm going to move my knight out of the way specifically to here where it will be protected by this pawn. The queen will then say check, forcing this move. And then I will go here for checkmate. Oh, well, not quite checkmate. Not yet. Checkmate is here. Oh. Ooh, nasty. However, let's see. check. That's unprotected. I mean, my rook would be unprotected. Obviously, the the pawn is not unprotected. The pawn is very double protected. Um, I this rook is hanging. This rook is hanging. We can just take that, and I'm in check. And then his queen is going to follow it up, and that's going to be checkmate. So I need to do checks fast. I can check by moving this pawn forward and threaten the rook and check at the same time. I'm going to guess that's it. And then I will take the rook, maybe. Oh, well, no, because he used the rook to block the check. Uh, but I get to take the queen which I believe is my next move. Okay. 13 in a row. Woohoo. And I used all my puzzles for the day. So thank you for watching. I uh, hope that was informative. It was fun for me.